Hello everyone. Once again I welcome you all to know about Shakespeare dramas. In this video I am going to give an important point about a wonderful, the remarkable play of William Shakespeare that is Julius Caesar. So it is a tragedy play in five acts produced in the year 1599 to 1600. It was also published in first folio 1623. Julius Caesar, such a prominent character, and uh, he was uh, he belongs to Rome. He was a Roman general and politician who named himself as a dictator of the Roman Empire, a rule that lasted less than one year before he was famously assassinated by the political rivals in 44 BCE. When Caesar was born, Caesar was born on July 12 or 13 in 100 BC to a noble family. Even the word assassination that became famous after this Julius Caesar. In the opening of the play, Julius Caesar got victory and uh, everyone, particularly Brutus says that uh, Julius Caesar is such an ambitious man and uh, he is going to do bad things for the Rome people. That In that way he misunderstood but uh, Julius Caesar, he really thinks the welfare of uh, Rome people. When the people, uh, they are uh, uh, offering crown to Julius Caesar, he refused the crown for three times. It is a notable point. How many times Julius Caesar refused his crown? For three times. And next slide. Everyone we come to know because in school days, in college days, uh, if, we are if, if we got betrayed by our friend, we used to say, you two brutus, which means... So this this quote, a true brute. This quote is famous from Julius Caesar. Yeah, of course, when Julius Caesar got ready to go to Senate House and his wife forcing him to not to go to Senate House because he had a nightmare. She had a nightmare. But Julius Caesar he mentions that cover die many times, but valiant never. He mentioned that if he, wa he wanted to be in home, that is the big covered act, so I want to go to Senate House and uh, that beware of the march, uh, uh, that also he denied. He didn't take the soothsayer words also very seriously. He went to Senate House. There, an unexpected thing happened because already in Brutus' house, the consp conspirators had a meeting and they planned to kill Caesar because Brutus thought that by killing Caesar, he is doing good for Rome people and he also joined with other conspirators. In Senate House, when Julius Caesar was sitting normally, everybody stabbed him that was unexpected at last his very close friend he stabbed Brutus so that time he say ye to Brutus actually it is a Latin phrase which meaning you to you to that is the meaning of ye to Brutus and in this picture in this slide uh, you can clearly see Mark Antony yes Mark Antony when we talk about Mark Antony we uh, have to remember Antony and Cleopatra Mark Antony he discovered Julius Caesar body in front of the map and he gave a wonderful speech that everybody read in our 12th standard in school days maybe in college that is Mark Antony speech so in the speech he made the people he made the Rome people to realize that Julius Caesar is not a culprit actually Brutus and Cassio is Mark Antony's speech and discovers Julius Caesar's body and how his body was hurted by so many wounds then at the end of the play Mark Antony and Octavius Caesar Octavius Caesar who is an adapted son of Julius Caesar came to know that Julius Caesar death and he wanted to take revenge on Brutus and he wanted to take the control of Rome people he joined along with Mark Antony both are protest against uh, uh, you know Brutus and uh, Cassius they killed uh, at last Octavius Caesar gains the upper hand so this is the important points to be remember in the play Julius Caesar 